we start by calculating the velocity of point A VA. Point A rotates about O, so we will use the equation for rotation. RA slash O is the position vector of point A with respect to O. Use the given length of 0.2 meter and the given angle of 45 degrees to calculate the I and J components. The rod OA rotates with 6 thread per second counterclockwise. So omega OA is equal to positive 6K. Then calculate the vector cross product. So K cross I becomes positive J and K cross J is negative I. So finally we will get the value of VA in I and J component. In step 2, we will calculate the velocity of point B. Because OA rotates counterclockwise, therefore point B is moving to the left. The rod AB undergoes general plane motion, so we will calculate VB using general plane motion equation. RB slash A is the position vector of B with respect to A. Use the given length of 0.5 meter and the angle 30 degrees to calculate RB slash A. Omega AB is not given, so we will assume that it is positive. Therefore, we will write Omega AB is equal to positive Omega ABK in unit vector form. We already have the value of VA from the previous calculation. Now you will substitute all the values in the equation. Next is to solve the vector cross product of omega AB and RB slash A. The vector VB needs to be converted into unit vector form as well. Since VB is moving to the left, so VB is equal to minus VBI. Next is to rearrange the equation and put those with variables on one side, those without variables on another side. Then we will group the variables into I and J components. You now have two equations with two unknowns. Now use your calculator to solve these simultaneous equations. Finally, you will get the value of VB and Omega AB in scalar quantity. The negative signs shows that Omega AB is rotating in clockwise direction 